with byani.com and I'm excited to tell you about our new pattern for the ultimate travel bag. This is a big beautiful bag that is sturdy enough for all your adventures and one that you will enjoy for years to come. The bag has two quick grab handles as well as a detachable strap with a comfortable shoulder pad for easy carrying. The shoulder strap is adjustable for wearing over the shoulder or cross body. A handy strap on the back enables you to hook the bag over the handles on rolling luggage. The strap fastens with Velcro so that the bag doesn't shift and slide and that the strap stays flat against the bag when not in use. The bag has slip pockets on each end, plus one on the back to hold keys, phones, water bottles, and more. On the front is another slip pocket combined with a zipper pocket for items that you want to keep safe and secure. The main compartment opens with a double slide zipper. This enables you to open the bag from either side or only part way. It also allows easy access to the roomy interior. Inside are two sets of mesh pockets. On the front is a slip pocket which is divided into three compartments, two of which are gusseted to allow them to expand a bit more. On the other side is a full zippered pocket. These pockets are made from mesh so that the contents are easily visible. The mesh also stretches a little bit to accommodate bulky contents. The best part about using mesh for pockets is that it adds no bulk in the seams. We've added buttons on the bottom to reduce wear and tear on the bag. You can also use purse feet if you prefer. I like buttons because I don't have to make holes in my bag. Be sure to check out our video tutorials at byani.com and on our YouTube channel. They'll detail how to sew these buttons to the bag using your sewing machine. It's really quick, easy, and gives great long-lasting results. The Ultimate Travel Bag has a stabilizer sleeve in the bottom, which holds a plexiglass or foam core insert. This gives great stability to the bottom of the bag and also keeps the bag wide open. You can have your local glass shop cut a piece of plexiglass for you or find the pre-cut pieces at our website, byannie.com. This bag would hold a small sewing machine or everything for a weekend adventure, so the plexiglass base is perfect for supporting that weight. I recommend using Byannie's Soft and Stable in your Ultimate Travel Bag so that the bag has good body and stability. As you can see, this bag stands up by itself and isn't sloppy or floppy. Using Soft and Stable enables me to use just about any type of fabric for the bag. I especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. This bag was made using the Handmaker line of fabrics, which was designed by Natalie Barnes of Beyond the Reef Quilting for Wyndham Fabrics. I think that this large floral is perfect for the main fabric, and I loved the black and white print that I chose for the lining. The coordinating turquoise floral reads like a solid, so it was perfect for straps and handles. And our turquoise mesh was perfect for the inner mesh pockets. For fun, I threw in a fourth fabric using their fun striped fabric for the inner bindings. For this ultimate travel bag, I used Valley from Sherry McConnell at Moda Fabrics. Wouldn't this be a great bag for a trip to the desert southwest? On this bag, I used some wonderful wool fabric from Pendleton Woolen Mills. This fabric was double-sided with a brown background on one side and navy on the other. We alternated the sides for the pockets to give added interest to the bag. If you're a beginning bag maker, I would recommend that you begin by making a bag using quilting cottons. Home deck fabrics may also be used, but they're going to be a little bit more bulky and wool fabrics will be even heavier. An all over design like I used with the handmaker fabric is more forgiving than a design such as the Pendleton wool, which needs to be matched. I'm so thrilled with how this bag turned out though, and it's definitely worth the effort for a careful seamstress. Some of you may have already purchased our carry-on travel bag pattern. 
This bag was inspired by that pattern, so you probably don't need both patterns. Here's what's different about this one. We added the strap on back for hooking it to rolling luggage. We added buttons on the bottom to protect the fabric. We substituted mesh pockets for the quilted and interfaced fabric pockets on the inside. This greatly reduces bulk and makes the bag easier to assemble. Because we felt that the one and a half inch straps and handles are most proportionate to this bag, we eliminated the sometimes confusing instructions for one inch straps and handles. Finally, we rearranged the steps somewhat, making the pattern a little more intuitive and easier to follow. This project is really good for all levels of sewing, though I'd probably not recommend it for someone as their first bag project, mostly because of its size. Of course, if you're an adventurous beginner with some good skills, it's certainly doable. You'd need skills for careful rotary cutting and sewing accurate seams, and some experience with my patterns and terminology is always helpful. You will begin by quilting your main and lining fabric to a piece of soft and stable, so some experience quilting is helpful. As an alternative, you could have a long armor quilt the fabric for you. I usually have them quilt a two yard piece of fabric and then I have enough quilted fabric to make the bag and some coordinating accessories. I actually was able to get two bags out of a two yard piece with careful cutting. Just take your time as you work and follow the instructions in order and before you know it you'll have a beautiful bag. All of my patterns have check boxes in front of each step, so be sure to check off the steps as you go so you'll know right where you left off if you get interrupted or have to stop partway through. If you'd like some help making this bag, check out our third Craftsy class, Sew so Sturdy the Ultimate Travel Bag. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions to make the bag, and you'll find everything you need in the class materials, including a downloadable pattern and full instructions. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing your ultimate travel bag and hearing all about your travel adventures. Let us know if we can answer any questions for you. Happy stitching!